So Jody has graciously let us use her username and her quiz results to show you how you can check feedback on your quiz. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to assessments. I'm going to go to quizzes. And I'm going to select the quiz that I want to check my results on. So right now, by the way, this little red thing over here lets me know that I am in the middle of that attempt. But to check my results, I'm going to click on the down arrow next to the quiz I want to see. I'm going to go to submissions. This little bubble here tells you that you have feedback. No wonder she wants to share. She got a great grade. I'm going to click on attempt one. Okay. And here is my test. I can look over here with two of two points. Okay. The check mark means you got it right. However, because the computer grades it, you might find an X saying that you got something wrong. Let's see if Jody has anything. Um, and then you got points. So for example, we have um, this X right here that means it's wrong. In, but I gave her partial credit two out of four points. She had confused this was a combination, not a permutation. Okay. And here I gave her, um, it was a rounding error. But you can see you have the total points. Now, what I want to do is, if there is feedback left, so here's feedback. And it's going to tell me exactly what I do to make this question correct. Okay. Basically, this one, um, <clears throat> I asked for the interval instead of what that actual z-score was. So you can see that she got partial credit for that by checking over here for the two of three points. Okay. And then there's an explanation. Most answers where it says V feedback is going to give you an explanation of what you did wrong. Okay. So here we go. Here's another view the feedback. Even if you got it right, it will display feedback for you. And okay. when you are done, you can just simply close out of that um, and you're done. You can go back to the course homepage or wherever you want to go. So you should always be checking this feedback. It's really important to make sure that you're learning the material. Have a great day.